Mark. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing all right. We're slowly surviving this freaking blizzard down here in Louisiana. Uh, but I think we got it all over with now. Everything's clearing back up. Haven't seen y'all in a while. And today, we are talking about dogs, man. So this video, I did a poll um, on a Facebook group full of a bunch of dog trainers. And I said, what is the most important advice you have for someone who wants to get a puppy? Um, if you guys watch my channel, you know I have Boone and I train Boone myself. This video is the top five things that you need to know before you take a dive into the world of dogs. Now, I understand everyone wants a hunting dog, but you got to understand what comes along with it. Duck season is only 60 days out of the year. That leaves 305 days out of the year that you got to live with that puppy. Before we hop into it, guys, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And give me a thumbs up if you find anything in this video useful. We're slowly trying to grow the channel, um, and everything's coming around. The off-season's here. we got our boat rebuild coming as soon as freaking snow goes away. Um, craziest thing ever. And we got plenty of fishing stuff coming up for you guys, as well as dog stuff this off-season. So if you guys want to see more dog videos, drop it down below and let me know. Also, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Flat and V Outdoors. Now, let's get to it. The number one biggest thing that you guys have to look at before buying a puppy is why do you want a dog? Everyone wants a lab. Everyone sees their buddy's dog. He's awesome. Wow, that'd be so great to have one. Uh, you got to realize dogs are like children, guys. If you've never raised a puppy by yourself, labs are insane puppies. They are going to make you pull all your hairs out, okay? Most trainers, if you plan on sending your dog off to train, aren't going to take a dog until they're about six months old. Um, so if you want to get a dog and have someone train it then and not deal with all the puppiness, then you might look at a kennel that breeds pups, trains them, and then sells them as started or seasoned dogs. Uh, but you got to realize that that is now part of your family, guys. Dogs, puppies, they require an enormous amount of attention and care and love and you really got to take care of these things okay it's not something that you can just get and you can't just put it in a cage and leave there all day and pull it out during duck season and all of a sudden it magically picks up your ducks okay i know it sounds like common sense but i think a lot of people underestimate just how much work it is you may want a puppy now but look at the long run guys um, are you going to want that dog in five years six years ten years the average lab's lifespan is 10 to 12 years so that is a big commitment that dog is going to be part of your family for a long time so just because you want one now or you want to have a dog next season are you going to want that dog forever you need to think about that guys because if you the answer is no then you're not cut out for it you should not even consider getting a dog number two on the list this is a big one what is your budget for this little rascal first thing you're gonna have to figure out is are you training this dog yourself or are you sending it off to be trained if you're sending it off to be trained, the average trainer alone is going to charge you at least about $600 a month um, with usually a three-month minimum, and that's for a started level puppy. So just in training costs alone, you're probably looking at about $2,000 at the bare minimum for your dog. Then we got to look at how much is this pup going to cost you. Um, typically, pups range from $600 to $1,200, depending on the pedigree and the bloodline. You got to figure out all the puppy's needs. You're going to have vet bills. It's going to be a couple hundred dollars in shots and visits and medicine, heartworm, flea and tick, all that good stuff. Those are reoccurring expenses. You're going to need to get a kennel for your pup, treats, food, everything you need in your house for that dog. So like I said, you're going to have to figure all that out and then take your budget and multiply it because stuff always pops up. You're always going to want something else. Things are going to keep happening. You're going to need this. You're going to need that. Plan ahead. So take what you think you're going to need Add at least a thousand dollars to that and then you got to be honest with yourself guys what are your actual expectations do you want a hunt test dog for just a meat dog he's gonna go pick up a duck here and there because that's a big difference in price and what it's gonna cost to you if you're training it yourself or what it's gonna cost your trainer to train it or if you're buying them outright so that's something you guys need to be truly honest with yourself what do I want and what am I gonna want down the road and how much can I really afford um, the puppy lust is a real thing but it's going to go away, and then you're going to have to ask yourself, wow, is this really what I want to spend all my money on? Number three on the list, guys, picking the right puppy. Now, we went through the first two things. You said, yep, I have the time and commitment. I have the budget in place. I'm going forward with this, and I am getting myself a puppy. 
This is the most important thing when you're getting a puppy is picking the right puppy. Genetics have everything to do with how your dog is going to perform. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to find a reputable breeder or a reputable kennel. Um, someone who is proven to breed good dogs. You want to look for health clearances, okay guys? You want to check pedigrees. Make sure this dog comes from a good bloodline. And any good breeder is going to give you a health clearance guarantee. So if anything um, is genetically wrong with that puppy, then they'll stand behind that. It, you don't want to get some backyard bred dogs. Oh, well my buddy's lab and this lab, they had puppies and it's going to be, he's a great, the best duck dog ever, but he doesn't have any titles because we don't believe in hunt tests. Don't fall for the scheme, guys. Cheaper is not always better. And like I said, this dog is an investment. You're going to be hunting with this dog for 10 seasons. That can be 10 amazing rewarding seasons or that could be 10 seasons of pure headache because you picked the wrong puppy so do your research in your area you may have to drive out of the area find a reputable breeder and make the investment on a good quality dog on a good quality bloodline number four on our list guys this is directed towards the self trainers uh, like myself I feel like most people who are going to be watching this video are ready to tackle the challenge of training the dog yourself. You've came this far, you've picked out your puppy, you've got everything. You don't want to spend the money to train the dog. That's perfectly fine and that's the route that I chose to go. I decided I was going to train Boone by myself and it has been an amazing rewarding experience. Very, very stressful. Yes, at the end of the day, I don't regret it one bit. The bond that you form with your dog when you train that dog yourself is unbreakable. You guys are always on the same page. You learn so much as a handler that you can't get from when you send your dog to get trained. There's so much that you're going to know. You're going to know exactly how your dog reacts. You're going to know everything your dog knows because you taught your pup that. But you can't be lazy and be a self-trainer, okay guys? It is going to take a ton of time and a lot of commitment, but that's all it takes. Majority of your time you're going to spend training your dog if you're self-training, if this is your first pup. 90% of the work you'll put in is teaching yourself things, doing the research, reading, watching videos, learning from everyone. That is where most of the time is going to go. And then you're going to take that other 10% of your work time and that 10% will be applied with you tra actually training your dog. And it is going to be a headache, guys. If you're not a patient person, don't even think about it. Just send him off, have him trained. Go learn a few things from the train. Training your pup yourself is going to be a little bit cheaper, uh, but you're still going to have expenses. Plenty of things to buy to help train your dog. You're going to need a bunch of bumpers, uh, launchers, all the tools and tricks. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's all stuff you get to keep. You can always use them once you're done training your dog, which you never will be. Uh, you can use them to polish up your dog. You have all that. So instead of just sending him off to a trainer, he comes back, then you don't have anything to do with him. Don't be overwhelmed, guys. Um, there are tons and tons of resources out there for you to use. You can get books. You can YouTube stuff. Or you can go the route I chose, sign up for a program, have all of those resources readily available for you. And that brings us to number five. What training methods are you going to use? Now, the two biggest self-training resources out there right now are TRT by Freddie King, the Retriever Trainer, and Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Cornerstone, but I do know it is very expensive. I don't personally care for their training methods. Um, they're more of a gentle, non-force fetch type of training. Um, I prefer Freddie King style of force fetch. Um, and training the dog the old school way. So when it comes between the two, TRT is only $60 a year. The Retriever Trainer, you can go to retrievertrainer.com, I'll leave a link down below, and sign up for it. $60 a year, and there's a plethora of videos out there. Um, there are two series called Teet's Life and Dingy's Life, and those follow Freddy's pups from the time they're eight weeks old until they're fully trained. There's multiple videos every week. So you can literally get your pup and follow along week by week with those videos and your pup will progress. Now that is amazing in itself. That's worth the money right there. The biggest benefit to it is the Facebook group, the Retriever Trainer. Once you sign up for TRT, you guys get added to the Facebook group where there's thousands of trainers that you can ask questions to, you can make new friends, and you can learn everything from them. Not only that, um, but you get access to Freddie King himself. Uh, if you guys don't know who Freddie King is, look him up. He's an amazing dog trainer, very reputable, very well respected in the game. 
And you personally get to DM Freddy anytime you want to. Anytime you have a question about your dog, you can shoot him a message, say, hey, Freddy, you know, I'm working on this, my pup's doing this, what should I do? And he's going to come back and say, you know, this is what I would do. Have you tried this? Have you tried this? Do it this way. Work it this way. You have one of the greatest trainers in the world right there in the palm of your hands to help you through any hiccups you have. Um, and 90% of the time, you won't even need to reach out to him because you have this Facebook group full of people that you can ask, you can find old posts, you can see Freddie's posts, and he, everything is so crystal clear, guys. With the Retriever Trainer, he really makes everything foolproof. It is really hard to mess up. You just have to have the patience and the commitment to do so. Hopefully, this was helpful to you guys. If you'd like to see more dog videos um, or anything, you ever have any questions, you can reach out to me on Instagram. If you ever have any questions that you're working with on your pup or you need some help on something, I'm more than willing to help you guys. Um, and if there's any videos you want to see, just drop them down below. We'll probably be doing a whole little series um, on self-training your puppies um, and kind of just the hindsight things that I didn't think about when I first started that I know now and I wish I would have known when I got started. Thank y'all for watching. Like I said, please just hit that subscribe button for us. Stick around and we'll see you next time on Flying V Outdoors.